Yo, yo, welcome to the Port Time Residence Interviews with me, Ziggy T. Uh, today we've got a sick producer, um, honestly works with an abundant of wicked artists. Um, his recent tune is Achieve with Prefix, Black Dot, Jamie Broad and Motor Mouth. Today we've got Rogue Beats. How's it going, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. Are you? Yeah, I'm doing sick. I'm doing absolutely sick. Um, so yeah, so what we we'll do is I always kick it off at this point. So just tell us a bit about your music background, where you started, what you've been up to, and uh, and did you start with the hip hop or did you start doing something else or where did it all start for you? Yeah, I am. Um, to be fair, I've been in and around music for I'd say pretty much you know uh, the last fifteen years or so. Um, originally started as a DJ, uh, doing house music more than anything, oh, or okay. always. Always been big on the hip hop, like always listened to hip hop growing up. But for some reason, just never thought to when I was DJing do do any <laughs> hip hop shit. Like um, I DJ for house for years, um, just locally around there did a few like clubs, bars, and all that. And then um, always made beats on and off, but never fully committed to doing it um, right. until a couple of years ago. When did that um, start? When did you say like twenty twenty or lockdown? To be fair, so yeah, right, okay. I always used to mess around on like fruity loops all the time, like, mm. um, and I would have periods on and off for years. Like, I'd, I'd make a couple of things and then get nowhere and then stop. And then during lockdown, just having all that free time, um, I just thought, you know, fuck it, dive back into it. And then I've kind of just carried on since then. Yeah, you, you um, have a little little wave of good um releases as well. Some been sick tunes like coming from your way. So like. Talk, talk to us about like how did you like is it purely the internet or is it connections through gigs or what like how have you got into the pop scene sort of thing um i used to so i was mates with a lad called 420 right who used to be on like the hip-hop heavy like um so i used to hang around with him quite a bit to be fair um and like you know just chilling as when he was making stuff more than yeah, anything well, yeah. Um, I didn't wasn't really actively doing anything at the time, but I'd just go and chill with him. And um, like he's heavy on the DMB scene now, so shout out to him. Um, nice. but he, I, I met Pre, uh, Prefix years yeah, ago yeah. through him. Um, and when I started like really getting involved and making the beats and like they were actually coming out all right, I just ended up hitting Pre up because I just remembered. Being in his one time and pre being there, so I thought well, I'll just reach out to him and see if he wants to dive in on any of these beats. So I That's sent him, I sent him some stuff across. He liked it, and then just started working from there yeah, with him. Heavy beats. Are you using? Are you more MPC or your PC or what? Are, are, are you working? Um, I was PC originally, FL Studio mainly yeah. FL FL based. Uh, but since then, I well, I had the FL. I was on FL and then I got a. Machine got a second hand machine mark to nice. started using that for a bit and then I got rid of that, went back to FL and now I'm on the MPC. So decided about six months ago I'll get an MPC. So just been learning that really and I yeah, still like to craft, isn't it? Yeah, I, I do like I'm falling in love with the MPC, I must admit, like um, <laughs> but I, I do like to go between the two. So I, I do like to sometimes just make beats on FL. Uh, just to change it up a little bit, but I do most of me like me mixing down in FL, like just track everything out, put it into FL, go from there, really. But a lot of producers I, I talk to are all on the same similar wave, they all sort of do a whole mix of everything, they don't just stand, you know, stick to one because they'll use like the computer to do certain things with samples before they put it into the MPC or whatever it is. Like, um, yeah, but I think that's a good way to work. So, is it is it mainly FL you use then if you use um... PC? Different PC, pretty much FL. I, yeah. I did use Logic for a bit about five or six years ago. Um, I got a Mac a, a while ago. Yeah. And I managed, I just got Logic just to mess around with. So I've, I've used Logic a little bit. Um, I did quite like it, to be fair, but I was always FL. Like when I was younger, using FL. So I, I think, I think there's a era of people that. who just who started on FL who just for some reason was able to get on FL. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was just that that, that cracked line wire. Yeah, <laughs> FL birds. It wasn't it that everyone used to just the uh, yeah. Know, I, the, I was the just saying, I had a FL when I was about eleven, <laughs> and I was just like putting the dots <laughs> in, like and, uh, yeah. I haven't really used it since I've been about thirty or fourteen, but uh, a lot of producers I speak to in the hip hop scene use FL. Um, actually, someone from the little um series of 
of interviews we're doing now has, has, has been talking about AFL and bigs it up a lot. So I guess yeah. some of the people out there who do use it. Um, it's definitely a comeback because it wasn't it wasn't the popular choice at one point, but nah, I think people, everyone just seems to be using it now. So I mean, he was saying that people shit on it a lot. Everyone he speaks to uses shit on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but he said as long as you know the ins and outs of it, you're absolutely fine. It just works out like any other door. Um, but yeah, that's yeah, that's a... so um. What what's your plan like with the producing? Do you just try and like just send beats to people, or or are you trying to get people to come to you, or how how do you normally go about it? Um, I started off by as I said when I like I sent stuff to pre originally, um, and some other people, um, stuff that n- n- not necessarily actually ever came out, but I used to like I still do just send people beats, um, yeah. see if they're feeling them, and then go from there. But I'm trying now to. Yeah, add more of an input in terms of the project. So I kind of want to. I was Trying basically a just a beat. EPL. Yeah, I was just a beat maker more than anything really. I was just making beats, but I wasn't really a much much of a say over the, the project and you know trying to mold it into something as a as a producer. So I'm trying to branch out and do a bit more of that now. I think so, it's nice to see someone's that you know did a did a prod did a because you know they've had some sort of you know it's not just been an internet thing. It's you know, normally like even if you are over the internet, you're able to talk about it and, and come up with decisions and yeah, and that's what's great about the way people network, especially in the hip hop scene. It's different than other genres. I suppose other genres ain't got the same sort of mentality the way we all work together. But um, yeah, I think it's I think it's good that you can just branch out to anyone you want really. Then that aspect aspect. Have you um have you got someone who you like the pinnacle? Who would you send a beat to if you could? Oof, um, <laughs> that's hard. It's, you, you could take a pick from a list of about 100 names, really, to be fair. So, <laughs> um, I couldn't put a name to that, to be honest. But, yeah, I think it's like... Have you got a favourite artist in the UK scene, like rapper or producer or...? In the UK scene? Yeah. Uh, favourite artist probably going to be Lee Scott, to be oh, fair. Fair. Like, fair. Um, That's where we met first. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, man. Yeah, um, that's the first time I've ever seen him. To be fair, like live, but um, yeah, I grew up like probably the biggest influence in terms of getting in the hip hop scene, just purely because obviously he's from like Run Corn, he's kind of from around these ways. So yeah, um, where exactly is it that you are? I'm in Southport. Oh, now, okay. To be fair, yeah, so yeah. not not too far, like so. Yeah, we've yeah. Been. Oh, sick! I think he's probably. I think every single show I do, there's a Lee Scott tune on there. Absolutely love his shit. Yeah, <laughs> and there's yeah, such a up, massive back 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 catalogue of as well. Yeah, grew up on that children of damn shit, man. Yeah, definitely, it's fucking madness. That I was unfortunate. Well, yeah, well, I don't know if it's, if it's unfortunate or not, but I didn't listen to that shit till like three years ago. So I like proper. <laughs> Yeah, oh, fair, I missed out, but <laughs> I've got a lot to catch up. Well, I did have a lot to catch up on. I'm pretty sure I've listened yeah. to Lee Scott tune now. Um, but yeah, so who, who's your, have you have you got like new projects coming out with um a variety? So what you know, you just mentioned you wanted to work with people rather than be just sending beats. Yeah, um, I've got a project coming out soon. Hopefully, there's no date on it yet, but with a uh, with Ill Sykes, um, yeah, somebody I really wanted to work with, and I reached out to him sent him some stuff, he was feeling the beats. Um, so I think that was pretty much done-ish. Yeah. But we haven't really got a date on it yet. So um, that'll be out soon. Um, Light Beyond the Shadows Edge is the name of the, uh, the, oh, that's sick. the project. So uh, look out for that one, Daffo. Um, He's definitely getting a name for himself in the scene as well. There's a lot of videos and stuff of him on Blade and all sorts of stuff at the minute. Like, yeah, um, 100%. To work with. Yeah, Proper talented as well. Um, yeah, he has a he has a crazy sort of um approach to a lot of it. Like it... Very, yeah, very unique style. Um, but he does remind me of other artists as well. Like oh yeah, he definitely but does. He, but you can see that he's putting his own spin on stuff. Like so, yeah, he's, he's a, a lot he's of different varieties artist. as well. He's not just trying to stick with one thing. He's trying a lot of things at the minute. A lot of it. It's yeah, yeah, he's 100%. working out for him. Who else is there? Um, Have you got any, any more at the minute? Um. Most recent thing I've had out was a uh, track with uh, Prefix, oh, yeah. Jamie Broad, Motor Mouth, and uh, Black Dot uh, but... Achieve, which dropped last month. Yeah, last month. Yeah, but, it was. Yeah, uh, this is a banger. This I did spin this on the on the on the show. It's a it's a mad. Track. Yeah, uh, I've got a project with Converse in the works as well. So that's pretty much half done. And um, just trying to get a few more tracks. Is that, an EP that or... one? Um, at the moment it's an EP, but 
let's see where it goes. Yeah, it might, might be an album. Out. Might be <laughs> album. Um, but yeah, that'd be the first thing I'll, I'll ever put out with with uh, Converse as well. But I'm hoping, hopefully, like you know, if it if it goes down well, yeah. it'll be the first of a couple or many, depending on how things go. But yeah, <laughs> just trying to get that fleshed out at the moment, like. So yeah, you mentioned before you were DJ. We like that was obviously in a different scene, but would you transition that to the hip hop scene? Would you do live DJing or have you done that or is that something you you think you might oh, do? Hundred percent in the future, yeah. yeah. Um just I haven't got the equipment at the moment, like so um once I can get some some turntables together, that type of thing, uh, I yeah. think it definitely will go down that route. Something um, like you know, if you did like an Ill Sykes album or EP or whatever, and then and then did a little bit of a tour of that or something, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely something I want to do in the future. Defo, just need yeah. to find the uh, the free time as well. But I'm just That's too concentrated thing, yeah. on getting these projects done at the moment. So <laughs> once things like uh, once I'm happy with what I've got out there and things quiet down a bit, I think I'll definitely jump on that wave. Mm. So uh, how long have you sort of? You said you been mentioned. Um, you know, is it lockdown that you started actually putting things out? How long yeah. were you producing hip hop before that? Or trying to well, no, I, I properly started trying to learn how to make beats during lockdown. I'd say right, okay, I'm with you. I knew how to make beats. I understood how to make beats, and I could put stuff together, but not like not that well. If you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I could I can make a beat structure. I've been able to do that for a while, but um. Just like more like the the mixing side of things and really like concentrating on using like the right sounds and yeah. trying to actually put a sound together. I think like in the in the past I've just making beats and lashing anything into it and it, yeah. it would like you know structurally and everything it was a beat but it didn't sound very good. So <laughs> during lockdown I just tried to learn as much as I could and then gradually just started trying to put stuff out really. So I'd say properly the last two three years is where I've like done it consistently. Yeah. Um, but before that it was just on and off really when I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> um so do you you know when you're using like fruity loops and stuff, can you use MIDI pads and stuff like that with it or have you just got to actually key things in yourself? Um yeah I'm using I've just got like a MIDI keyboard at the moment. Um, oh, right, okay. Uh, but it's got pads on it as well. It's like a bit of both. So you can use that um, with fruity loops. Yeah, yeah. So, right. um, tend to use in, in FL. So, if I'm in FL, I use I use, tend to use Serato sample, just a bit of a cheat code. Exactly what I use. Yeah, exactly what what I use. <laughs> um, it, I really like the. I like how you can manipulate the samples in Serato. Yeah, like, right. yeah, you can like pitch and stretch the hell out of anything without really losing any like quality Clarity, to the sound, yeah. Yeah. which is just it's just probably the best. It's probably got the best algorithm in terms of changing the pitch and the function on that way you can do it so it just takes the same sample and keeps changing the pitch of it as you change each note sort of thing oh you should yeah that, that's like, that's one that that really sick, yeah, yeah that. big <laughs> sick stuff about that um so moving forward like what will be producing do you think like have you, you aim for certain like uh artists you want to work with or just are you sort of riding the wave of just people you know just working with people sort of out you know your level if you will sort of right in the underground or um, to I be honest, like sending that beat to Lee one day. Uh, maybe, <laughs> like maybe, but yeah, I don't expect uh, any any sort of responses anytime soon. <laughs> you know, you never know though. Um, not really. To be fair, just if I like someone and I rate them, then I'll probably reach out to them. Yeah. Um, and that doesn't doesn't mean it doesn't matter what. What what level or or what they are like, you know what I mean? If I rate what they're doing, and I'll probably send them stuff. Yeah. So I've, I've got a few people in mind, but obviously before I haven't reached out to anyone yet. Need um, to get other stuff out of the way as well, I suppose. Yeah, I want. <laughs> I don't really want to. I want to send stuff to people, but while I've got all the stuff going on, I, I feel bad if I send you something and you want to do a project and then. All my time, time somewhere else so yeah. i'd rather approach things that way really but yeah yeah that's fair that that's completely fair um so when you like sort of um producing your beats are you using samples or are you sort of are you are you creating your own sounds or what's your what's your way of going about it um samples at a base so 
I always start with a sample pretty much. Um, always digging for samples, but then I, I will add elements by you know on top that try and fit the sample myself. But yeah, I'm definitely a fucking crate digger, like so hundred <laughs> percent sample based, really. Liverpool's got some uh, good for record shops as well, on it? We've been to a few yeah. every time I come up to Liverpool. But, uh, yeah. yeah, last time I was there, but came in with a stack. <laughs> yeah, it's got some got some good places to be fair, yeah. Um to be fair, actually Southport's not that bad for digging. That's probably oh, because okay. a lot of people don't dig here. So, oh, so you got the gold? Do they find some gems in certain <laughs> places? Yeah, I've got some good shops here to be fair. So Oh that's sick. That is so sick. Um so yeah so how how would you sort of approach you know you're talking about now you wanted to work with people on projects what's your sort of approach to it you sort of already listened to their stuff and come with certain beats or do you ask them what they want or how does that uh, usually happen yeah definitely listening to their stuff um and seeing what i can make slash what will fit certain people and that's yeah. definitely an element to it um I do tend to sometimes just send people beats that might not necessarily be what they're looking for because you never know. Some people might want a slightly different sound. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I tend to send stuff that I think people will sound good on, if you know what I mean, because otherwise it's the point, really. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, totally. When, you, when you're looking for your samples, are you looking for, do you always go to a certain, like, you know, jazz or soul, or do you always, you know, is there a certain, like, are you looking for a bass line, are you looking for drums, like? Anything, really, but usually, usually a melody or a bass line of some sort, something that stands out. Yeah. Um, Genre-wise, not really. Um, I feel like if you go for, like, I do use a lot of jazz and a lot of soul samples, but that's where everyone's digging, aren't they? So I tend course. to go for the most obscure stuff. <laughs> and like that tends to either be a dud or you do find some gold. So yeah. A method that me and Hollow Boy Drowsy came up with a while back is just find any genre and then type in a country's that you know, hun- like Hungarian jazz or whatever, <laughs> where yeah. it, is, it comes up with some mad shit. <laughs> that's that. That's it. And you've got to look at the covers. Like that's the most important thing, really. And it like, I like that look. It, at the in, instruments on the back, um, and yeah, the the maddest covers tend to be the final the ones, ones that you so, want. <laughs> yeah. So when you're in the record shop, kids just look for the fire covers. <laughs> yeah, that's got to that's got to be it. <laughs> that's sick. That's sick. Um. So yeah. So have you do. You, do you find, um, like, when you're producing and stuff, do you find yourself going back to the same sort of method of producing, i.e., like, the same structures, or do you find yourself, like, trying to trying to go, like, always start with the bass, always start with the drums, or, like, what's your technique with that? Um, It changes, to be honest. Right. Um, You don't always, you might I, just hear a sample, or you might say something. Yeah, I used to try and, to be honest, I used to try and, like, chop the sample or find the loop, and then I'd build the drums around that. Right. Uh, but recently I've kind of gone the other way and been making the drum, doing the drums first and then find something that fits. Putting the sample around that. It, it depends really on the sample. If it's if it's gonna be a loop, then you you know what the loop is, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. you can get that first and then you know the drums around it. But like if it's, it's on some mad chopping shit, then sometimes <laughs> it's best to get the drums first and then yeah, use the chops around it. But it depends, really. Um, I don't really like to do it a set way, yeah. just because it keeps it a bit fresh. Otherwise, I find that I, I make the same beats constantly. This is the it. same way, and I try to have a little bit of variety with it. So, yeah. I found myself at some points getting into that route of just trying to go with the same sort of structure, the same sort of way of doing something, then I got all the beats on exactly like one yeah and then you get to the point as well where you get annoyed with making because there's no fun in it and you're not actually trying to change things up like uh yeah. at one hollow boy drowsy literally or something like beeps in a hospital or like the maddest of cars going past and it'll so make fair. that and it's so mental when he comes up with some beach like what even is that <laughs> that, was that, that that is sick though like getting the, the most random sounds and put them into a beat like crazy yeah there's some good stuff like that so do you want to sort of stick it at the level you're at? Are you like underground and stuff like that? Are you dream to get signed or dream to like work? You know, what? where do you want to be with hip hop? Do you want it to be, be your bread and butter or do you want to like just work and have it as a side thing? Or 
Um, I mean, I'd love to have it as my bread and butter. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I'd love to do it as a living, but I'd always be happy, even if it was just a side thing, um, because I'll do it regardless. So yeah, it I'm doesn't really doesn't really bother bother me to be fair. So as long as I can always have access to do music, I think I will. So it doesn't really matter to be fair. So just take it day by day type thing and just yeah, hopefully work with some sick artists. That's that's all I'm keen on doing to be fair. That's a sick outset because a lot of people are just in it for like particular reasons of like sort of oh this is eventually just going to be what I wanted you know this is all I'll do and I don't know I'm always stuck on the fence of that question because it's always like oh if you do it full time is it really going to be that enjoyable anymore is it do you know what I mean yeah um, does it I take think an element yeah I think unless you're getting you know like a major label placements then yeah. you probably have to go down different avenues than just like making beats as a producer anyway so like, you'd probably have to branch out into other things so yeah i get what you mean it's it becomes a bit of a, a hustle and the graft i guess like i mean that probably like, you see a lot of people putting like you know like drum packs sample packs that type of yeah stuff that's out. true yeah so um, there's, there's other avenues but yeah um, yeah I know what you mean. if it was possible one day then yeah definitely Oh, sick. So, um, so we'll pretty much, um, we'll leave it there. I think we've got enough, uh, pulled off enough information out of you. <laughs> um, yeah, so but, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll play that tune that we mentioned. So, this is, um, Achieve with, uh, Black Dot, Prefix, Jamie Broad, and Motor Mouth. Um, is there anything you want to mention about, like, you know, is there anything, any, obviously, you've mentioned projects coming up. Is there anything you want to plug the socials or is there anything, where can they get your beats? <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, fucking hell, if you like any of my beats, like like the sound, and you want to jump on any of them, just literally drop me a DM. Um, I'm on Instagram at rogue.beats1. So, yeah, just search me up, though, you'll find me. Yeah, um, give me a follow. But, yeah, give me a follow. Come check out my shit if you're feeling it. Exactly that. So, yeah, this is Achieved by uh, by Rogue Beats on the on the beat. <laughs> um, and we've got Prefix, Black Dot, Jamie Broad, and Motor Mouth. Check it out. Peace. Peace. Smoke, drink, live, blessed But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze of sense, struggling to understand why But like a bad and my rules, this man won't comply Smoke, drink, live, blessed But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze of sense, struggling to understand why Man won't comply. Yo, life's a rocky road, gotta watch the cobblestones. When I'm not a home on the road, I give it me all, yo. Sometimes new strength. Keep me chin up, need to loosen up and not be too tense when a good mood went. I take me position like a soldier on the front line and get involved, perform on a stage, have a good time. When the sun shines, it brings out the right vibes. Nice times is what I'm down for, but all in due time. You might just see the knights representing at a party. Fans all over, got that long reach, Muhammad Ali. Got lines like Charlie, but it's strictly green on me. Hitting joints like, whoa, that's a strongie, take it off me. Was once seen as a softie, but it's not how it is. Don't take kindness or weakness, I'm not powerless. The show's at six and it's four, I need to shower quick. Need to achieve, take the lead like walk with your dog, kid. Smoke, drink, live, blessed. But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze got sense, struggling to understand why. But like a bag of my rules, this man won't comply. Smoke, drink, live. But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze got sense, struggling to understand why. Don't like a bag of my rules, this man won't comply. Rest in peace to my first bitch. That's a hole I could never fill. I never gave up and I never will. Trying to get this cheddar still. Defender of the game, fam. But I'm spending what I make back. I need to load more bookings. Promoters trying to load more bookings. I want the cash in my hand, like the rent's due. Going back to the pad. But my pen's you I just write how I feel, what I write down I make it for real back then I wasn't making a meal Now there's people that depend on me Got me feeling like it's meant to be No one's got a leg up on my legacy Be the same as me, now you'll never be What better for my kids than I've ever seen Hear me on my music, I could never cease Smoke, drink, live, blessed But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze got sense Struggling to understand why But like a bag of my rules, this man won't comply Smoke, drink, live, bless But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Breeze got sense Struggling to understand why But like a bag of my rules, this man won't comply 
So kidder if you catch me in a cipher Just know the bars will strike ya Harder than the mites around me Right there in the middle like I'm tighter Spitting bars and trust me bro I'm nicer And I don't mean on the mic I mean in person I got a smile wider than a Jürgen But trust me I'm as wily as a serpent So if you wanna draw me out then it's curtains Yeah, it's on for certain I drop faces back to back Have them coming back like they need another track It's like that my bars hit and don't miss I get no skips like a shop that sold out of crisps It's like that and like this I'm all that and the bag of chips Pull a rabbit out of the hat I miss the magic tricks Try and match my breath control and you crack a rib I grab a pen, sharpen it and take a stab at it Smoke, drink, live, blessed But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Grease got sense, struggling to understand why Don't like to buy the buy rules, this man won't comply Smoke, drink, live, blessed But have you got it in you to achieve the best? Grease got sense, struggling to understand why Don't like to buy the buy rules, this man won't comply I still go for it, but I got nothing to show for it The only thing I blew was blue cheese with blue and green Might have shed eye, but still spill mind tricks Periods, cadences, making you weird Be afraid of a fear, what ways we bit? I was that of a Mandalorian crashed inside of an auditorium Grabbing a rapper by the chords, jibber their choruses Now I can bring it when warm, or I can bring it when cold A man with an eye and mic can do with ways that Wu had told Still it's a cold world, all I really have is my talent Still living day to day with a fucked up bank balance But somehow I managed to scrape the bottom of the barrel well, It's more like a peanut butter job, but you get the arrow Point is I am aiming high when living low Even higher than the average Joe Swings around about say you know the shit you know Silver linings from a guy who never had a silver spoon Just one made out of wonders, one as a 